Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood. Today's a beautiful day inside of the theme park. Peak season is over, Christmas is over. So let's uh, check out what's going on inside of the theme park. So we've had a pretty crazy week this week. We're live streaming almost every single day. We were doing live updates and uh, watching shows and stuff. Um, so that was a lot of fun. This week, I'm gonna go back to just posting. I might do a live stream here and there. Uh, yesterday, we had like a almost all day live stream at Disneyland, so that was fun. I was uh, really happy to see a lot of you guys in chats, a lot of familiar faces. So I uh, always love talking to you guys. I'm gonna make a quick stop over here at the Universal Studio store because Grinch merch is still on sale. Uh, and now actually the discount was increased up to 50% off. So all of the Grinch and Christmas merchandise you can see around this area is 50% off. Now is a great time to take advantage of all of these merchandise discounts. Uh, I'm 99.9% .9 sure most of this merchandise will return next year. But if there's anything you are into uh, that they do sell here, it's all 50% off until it returns next year. As Peaches plays in the background, let me show you uh, these uh, price comparisons. If it was like $10, of course, 50% off of $10 is $5, 15 to seven fifty. This is really good. And I think um, if they don't sell out, the, the merchandise discount goes up and up and up. And I think the limit is 90% off. They do the same with Horror Nights as well. Uh, Horror Nights merch, whatever doesn't sell out, the discount goes up to 90% off. And that's when uh, it's like Black Friday for me. I go to Universal that morning and just try to buy as much as I can. Um, so looking at the wait time sign, this is very strange. There's no show section. There's no shows inside of the theme park now. Waterworld is experiencing an extended refurbishment. It's gonna be closed for roughly a month and a half to two months. So there, as of right now, there are no shows inside of the theme park. And this is, uh, this is interesting. What was once the entertainment capital of the world became the entertainment capital of LA. And I don't know if it's still an entertainment capital because there is hardly any live entertainment over here at Universal Studios Hollywood as of right now, because Waterworld is gone, special effects is gone, animal actors is gone. All we have right now, uh, show-wise, is the Tri-Wizard Tournament, uh, which they should have added to the show's tab. I feel like they, they should put that onto, onto the board. But yeah, no, no shows, so the park is very interesting right now. I feel like recently it's been taking them a while to take down holiday decorations from, I guess, Halloween. It took them a while to take down the Halloween decorations. It's still, um, we're like a week and a half past Christmas now, and uh, we still have some Christmas decorations remaining, remaining. Um, even snowflakes along the construction walls. We have the New York Street Sweep Christmas edition. Um, we have all of these trees that were left up. It doesn't seem too difficult to remove these. However, they did remove like the lights around uh, the plaza. So there are no more lights or Christmas lights and no more lights around this area. We can walk down Pet's Place. Oh, yeah, no, there's still a lot of decorations remaining over in Pet's Place. Whoville is still there and the Grinchmas tree is still up. So, uh, this is a really interesting spot for Universal. We have no shows, uh, no events until, I guess, uh, August now. September, August, same thing. Um, and yeah, that's... Hi, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> so we'll see what happens. They, I feel like they need to, they need to do something. They're, they have to do something. Um, Mardi Gras is always an option. Mardi Gras is in March. February, March, April, uh, around that time. So they could always look into um, capitalizing on other events. Mardi Gras is celebrated at Universal Studios Orlando. It's, it's much closer to Louisiana, so it makes sense why they celebrate it there, but it'd be cool if we uh, celebrate Mardi Gras over here in Hollywood. I remember one time, one year, they tried. They tried their best on, I, I think it was Fat Tuesday, wherever venue you went to for shows, they were giving out uh, Mardi Gras beads. I remember I got Mardi Gras beads. 
Personally, I love these string lights they have uh, hovering over French streets. I wish they left it up year round because I feel like it adds so much to the aesthetic. But they only have it have it up for the holiday season. And this year, they actually didn't bring this up until like the second week of the holiday season. No one really cares, but I do. I'm a pretty detailed, or, detail oriented person, so I love seeing um, everything return uh, the way it is, and I love little changes. I, I love looking at the details. And uh, even these garlands here, these are all new garlands they brought this year. And I just appreciate the little, the little bits of effort that go into enhancing Christmas every year at Universal. Uh, it seems like Christmas every year has been uh, a bigger and bigger project, and I hope uh, it, it, it stays that way. I hope they um, capitalize on, on the Christmas season a little more, and hopefully next year they can do almost like an after hours uh, event similar to uh, Halloween Horror Nights. I feel like a lot more people celebrate Christmas than they, than they do Halloween. So it'd be cool if we get like an after hours Christmas event similar to Halloween Horror Nights with walkthroughs, special character interactions and so forth. Lots of uh, stuff going on with the Fast and Furious coaster over here. A lot of walls up over here. And um, this might be where the queue is located. They're most likely gonna fill this up with foundation and then cover it all with dirt and then put the, the queue above. Maybe it'll it'll start there and then go a second floor. We still haven't received any like official concept art, so it's, it's really hard to, um, to know what they're doing here. But as of right now, they are uh, moving really, really quickly with construction. They're taking advantage. It's been windy, but so far no rain. I don't wanna jinx that. It doesn't look like we have any clouds right now either. So this is nice. We're gonna see a lot of updates. Um, right now they are also uh, basically done with those concrete supports over there. And I think that's where the station will be located. So if we're gonna see any bit of track, any bit of coaster track, it's gonna be located right over there. And so, I don't know, I'm just so excited to see what they do with this coaster. I'm so excited for them to reveal the ride vehicles. It looks like uh, the crane has moved quite a bit. So they've definitely been using this to import and export things from the project site itself. We can take a look down here as well, see if there's any differences. Uh, a lot of active construction vehicles. It looks like they did flatten out the mountain quite a bit since our last visit. Uh, we hear jackhammers going off in the distance. They removed those concrete supports or the concrete wall over there. Um, that was just old and they had to remove it. But yeah, they're moving very, very quickly. The staircase is completely done. This is actually the first time I've seen it in use. So I know you guys have been asking, where's Mondo and stuff? We haven't seen each other in a while. It's been but too cold. <laughs> yeah, it's been so cold, but we're here with fire. He's warming things up. Yeah, yep. I'm glad. To see Universal come for once because yeah. since Super Nintendo World is open, it's 10 out of 10 packed like every day. It doesn't matter what day it is. Yeah, I know. And today is nice. It's nice, yeah. <laughs> the wait times are chill. And this is also Junior. You can find him. Uh, where, where, where can we find you, Junior? Uh, my YouTube channel, MC Junior Book 2. Uh, my Instagram, Universal Disney Fan. My TikTok, R. Pena, JL89. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All the, we're gonna get on the studio tour. Yeah, we're gonna, we're yep. gonna get on the studio tour, but I wanted to ask you guys, how do you feel about Fast and Furious? Uh, you excited? Excited, you know, the first roller coaster ever, the thrill ride. So, uh, I'm excited though. Can't wait to get on the ride once it opens. I was saying a while ago, I feel like the crowd that comes here is not ready for a roller coaster like that. Yeah. So we'll see if people love it or hate it. it it's, it's, I feel like it's up in the air. Yeah. Because there's nothing like that here at all. Uh, like, like Mummy yeah. is a kid's meal compared to this. <laughs> they still have some construction going on over here. Looks like they're making a, a more permanent snack cart location. But uh, this whole area has been receiving a uh, slight touch-ups. I mean, we first saw this uh, di new directory sign as well as a new mural up there as well. Video issues. Reach up and grab the red emergency cord that runs along the center of the ceiling of the tram and I'll be back to assist you as soon as it's safe to do so. That's why you are on board. All right, y'all, we're doing it. We're officially leaving the theme park behind. We are now taking you deep into the heart of the studio where we movies and TV shows each and every day. By the way, we're going to the heart of the TV Uh, I forgot, 2024, it's a new year, so 109 is uh, starting in March. And this year, y'all, 
Studio Tour is actually going to be celebrating a milestone anniversary, our 60th anniversary, right here. Uh, Universal Studios in Universal City, which was once dubbed the strangest city in the world. There's many reasons for we were once dubbed that by the Science Fire Station 51. Y'all give it up for our firefighters. Woo! The heroes keeping us safe each and every day. Believe it or not, y'all, we're working at Fire Station. They're not actors, it's not set. We are working at Fire Station. We have our own fire station out here. We also have our own station, our own medical services. Zip code 91608. One of the biggest differences between our city and your city is that our city is dedicated to making television shows, commercials, reality competitions, music here on the sign that says The Voice. This was home to The Voice for several of its first seasons. It actually says move to our back. We'll point out when we get over there, y'all. But in the meantime, let's break down these sound stages. These inside these sound stages are She built some of their obstacle courses right out in our metropolitan sense. So uh, if you're a fan of that series, see if you can spot a good one exactly where they built those obstacle courses. Here's a movie scene for y'all. Also what you're gonna I just want them to bring this back for Horror Nights. They're just the fronts and sides of buildings. So that was another wall, y'all. So pretty cool to see. We got the whole wall and we got everything completely dressed and ready to film it right here. And now these alleyways on your right hand side, you might catch glimpses of two things. You might see some uh, production going on. They're filming the sequel to a quantum leap out here in the metropolitan sense. Which you can see, which is pretty cool. And of course, our New York Street sets, we have our own Broadway theaters, our own financial district, our own Macy's, even our very own co host, Jimmy Fallon, because he films the Tonight Show in New York. So let's see how he's doing. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, everyone, welcome to New York. I comes together in the end. And in fact, um, you know what? This guy tells this next part a whole lot better. Welcome. To Jurassic Park. Yeah, much better. Thanks, John Hammond. That's right. The sets and props you're going to see here were used in the original trilogy of Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park films. Which, of course, you as well. Dinosaurs are in our studio's DNA. So whenever we need them for filming, we have them right here on standby, which allows us to have an opportunity to see them up close. And here we are. In fact, we have a couple of dinosaurs here and their cages off to the right hand side. So take a look. You can see, in fact, that they're in our Okay, nothing worry about this. A couple of dinosaurs are around in Jurassic Park after all, nothing could possibly go wrong. So, this is going to be a man. Oh, there's a lot of those rolling dinosaurs by the way. Right now the flash flood scene is completely closed. Looks like they're doing some maintenance as of right now. Earthquake is still closed. And we still don't have an estimated time for this to reopen, so let's see if we can get a glimpse into the building. The Invisible Man just celebrated its 90th anniversary. Pretty cool, but I can top it. The Hunchback in Notre Dame, y'all, came out and said, see it at all times. All right, y'all, we just went to find a bunch of trees in our wilderness area. Still kind of in the middle of nowhere right here, which we actually utilize a lot for filming, such as for the Netflix earlier Bird Box star Sandra Bullock, as well Damn. as the Fox series 911 star in the world. And uh, it's actually pretty apropos of the cars are gone. here, because uh, we're actually going to head to one of the oldest and most iconic that. sets, still standing in all of Hollywood today, from the 1960 Alfred Hitchcock thriller Psycho. Welcome. To the Bates Motel, y'all. Anyone feel like taking a break? Taking a shower? Here, those showers are pretty killer, y'all. Pretty, 
killer showers. Get it? Because oh, someone gets pretty killed in the shower. Sorry, oh, big spoiler. Um, oh, actually, we have a we have pretty killers. Mr. Norman Bates here. Let's see what's been going built on up there. So we give you some backstory. He's the proprietor of the Bates Motel, and that's Marion Crane's Ford. She's probably checking in for the evening. I'm sure she's exhausted from a long journey running from her law. So let's see if she come out and say hi. <laughs> Dog. It looks like a hospitable Norman Bates is carrying a sleeping Marion Crane to a nice soft bed. What a gentleman, y'all. What hospitality, a nice soft truck bed. Okay. Um, I don't think she's sleeping anymore, so we're going to get out of here. I'm going to take a stab at this and say things are just going to escalate further. We'll be up tonight. All right. Um, hey, Car 4, I just want to let you know it's been an honor and a pleasure to be your tour guide, but this is why I think you best of luck. Happy New Year. Oh, wait. Um, okay, so then never mind. You can come back to the tour. Forget everything I said. Um, I just never have had Car 4 return before. So, uh, this is a first for everything. Um, all right, now let's say goodbye to the Bates Motel. Bye, and say hello to Mother's House from that same 1960 thriller, Psycho. Just as Vera travels, so too shall we. No way! They haven't had this meet and greet in so long. Whoa! Cross these out! Cross these out! Whoa! He, he hasn't been here in so long. I haven't seen him in so, so long. This is sick. But his outfit looks dude. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> All right, so this is like the first time I've ever ended a video inside of my car, but it was so cold outside. Tonight was freezing. So cold. Um, but... We had a blast at Universal. Lots of updates going on inside of the theme park. I'm so, so, so excited for um, the roller coaster. And it was so awesome seeing Krusty. But one thing I wanted to talk about the coaster, which I didn't get to bring up um, uh, when we were on site. I just ran into so many friends, ran into Mondo, ran into some other friends as well. Um, but one thing I really wanted to bring up that I didn't get to is when they opened the coaster, they should pull a Disney. And uh, while on the ride, you can hear the, the obviously the cars drifting and uh, different sounds, um, but they should also play music from the Fast and Furious movies, but not the same song. Like uh, there's, d depending on the ride, you could hear a different song. So every time you ride, it gives you a unique experience. Um, not sure where I'm going with this. If you ride, um, what is that ride called? The Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind or uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride over at Disneyland. Every time you ride it, it's going to be a different song. So it'd be cool if they use that same technology on this roller coaster and have different music every time you ride it. That'd be so cool. But that will wrap up our day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. I'm JP and how they say in the movies. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next one.